Hey, 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 my love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. Welcome, my Pisces. So we're going to be doing the wonderful sign of Pisces today. Your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. This is going to be your career reading, okay? Before we jump into your reading, just a few announcements. One, I do go live every Friday, or pretty much every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And we do answer questions in the chat so you guys can come on and join us. It's called Pay It Forward Fridays. And also, my podcast will be out uh, within the next... Uh, two weeks okay so you guys will have a date for that shortly so stay tuned for that the podcast is really going to be an extended version of what i do here on youtube so i will not be pulling cards but all of the topics and the things that we talk about maybe some of your readings it will be on the podcast as well as spiritual tips uh, maybe even some of my experiences and some of my um, closest friends experiences or maybe even some of my clients experiences to kind of help you guys understand that you're not in this walk alone i mean technically you are in the walk alone but we are all experiencing um, some of the same energies, just on different levels. Okay. Also, I want you guys to know if you have not checked out your love readings yet. Okay. You need to do so. They were posted last week. Um, next week there will be another string of love readings going out because I'm going to be doing, uh, a video on, um, um, words of affirmation, love language. So then that's going to be, uh, the next stream of love languages once I drop those videos. Okay. So today we're doing career. Uh, from a wonderful sign of Pisces. Okay, so we're going to tap into what the overall message is that they want to give you. And then we're going to clarify your energy and then the energy that you may be interacting with. Okay. So we're thanking our angels. We're thanking our guides. We're thanking our ancestors. We're thanking our higher selves. We're thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy. We are thanking all the energy that's here to help guide, protect, encourage, motivate, and give us the strength to take action for this time. Okay, my loves. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We do have, you're very close to achieving your goals, okay? We do have um, a personal issue reaches resolution uh, and take the time out to breathe. Now, this is all pertaining to your career, so we're going to see exactly where this fits within your energy, okay? So we want uh, clarification on you are very close to achieving your goal. What do you want my wonderful Pisces to know? about them achieving their goal and resolving the issue and taking time out to breathe. Please clarify what if you want Pisces to know pertaining to their career. What do you want Pisces to know pertaining to their career? What do you want Pisces to know pertaining to their career? Okay. Clarify this energy for Pisces. Clarify this energy for Pisces. Clarify this energy for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know? Oh, that's some good energy. Okay. So, starting out, which are very close to achieving your goals, you do have that energy clarified by the Strength card and the Queen of Pentacles energy. I like this energy, guys, and I like this energy because the Strength card lets you know that you're going to be having willpower, that you're going to be having courage, that you're going to be making the steps that's necessary, um, including the patience to achieve what you set out for. I like that it's paired with the Queen of Pentacles energy because that's all about stability, okay? That's all about your security and being practical, okay? So, you're not so much up in your head but you're grounded with this energy which is really 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 good to have okay now what else do you want pisces to know let's take a look at the energy that you're interacting with however okay is there energy that pisces is interacting with that you want them to know what energies is pisces interacting with what energies pisces is interacting with? what do you want pisces to know about the energies that they're interacting with? what do you want to know are there energies that you want pisces to know about them achieving their close goal. What do you want Pisces to know about this? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. Right now, Pisces, you could be dealing with energy where you have nine of wands energy um, as well as, what is this one? I don't even have my glasses. I should have, ooh, my glasses are right here on the counter. Okay, so you have your nine of wands energy and it's clarified. That looks like the seven of wands, right? So you got a nine of wands, oh, the five of wands. You got the nine of wands energy clarified by the five of wands energy. All right. 
and they were both um The Five of Wands energy is definitely like um, conflict. This is competition. So some of you could be dealing with some competition. And whatever this competition is, this person... Um, whatever this competition is, this person could be causing you to really step your game up, okay? Because they're coming at you so hard, right? Um, then their energy is also clarified by the Death card. And then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, so when you want that, when you have the Ace of Cups in reverse, especially followed by the Death card in reverse, the Death card in, in reverse is that this person is um, resistant to change. They're unable to move forward. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone that may feel like your shit is popping and their shit is not. Okay, um, and with the Ace of Cups energy, they could be blocked emotionally. And if somebody's blocked emotionally, then they're gonna project all their shit on you. Okay. So you need to be mindful of really who you're sharing shit with, okay? Because you're very close to choosing your stuff. And there's somebody that feels like they're in competition with you, okay? And you're going to be moving very quickly because your shit over here is clarified by the Eight of Wands. Oh, but it's the Eight of Wands clarified by the Seven of Swords, which is deceptive energy. Huh. Clarify what is deception is my wonderful Pisces have to pay attention to. And I kind of feel like the, um, the deceptive energy has to do with this energy over here. The death card in reverse, followed by the eight of cups is in reverse where somebody's blocking shit. Um, and secretly could probably have a competition with you. And you don't even know. Okay, clarify this. Clarify. Uh-huh. This person could be a little bit demanding, too. Or uh, this person could feel like you're a little bit demanding. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. So, that's it. Okay. We asked for clarification. So, what's going on with the deception of energy? This person could be a little bit demanding, right? Um, uh, or maybe even a little passive aggressive because they're unrealistic about shit. Like, it kind of feels like whoever this is wants to tell you how your shit could go or should go, right? And it kind of feels like you're starting to lose your patience with this because you can start getting a little bit aggressive and demanding because you see your dream. It's kind of like you see your dream, you see your vision, you see your right there, but they're coming in with all of this negative shit that you don't really want to hear. Like you don't want to hear this. Yep. Bottom of the deck is the king of cups in reverse. They're coming in with some manipulative energy. And it's interesting because bottom of the deck for your energy, they're coming in with that manipulative energy and you counteracting this shit with the balanced energy. So they're coming in with the King of Cups in reverse, which is manipulative energy, and your shit is straight. Like, you you, you balancing this shit. I'm not emotional about where I want to go. What I want is what you're saying over here. I'm not emotional about that shit. You may be, but I'm not emotional about that shit. Yeah, so, yeah. So they're doing that manipulative shit, um, and they got the world card in reverse, which is no completion. Shit is just not moving for them. Hence probably why the jealousy is popping off over here. But on the bottom of the deck, you got the, um, the, the three of pentacles, right? Cause I already pulled out the, the, the um, the cups energy. Is this the cups? Oh, you had the knight. Of, um, Sorry, that was not the king. That was a knight of cups. But even with the knight of cups where you're having patience, right? You're using your imagination to get out of this. Or you could have someone coming in to offer you that deal or to offer you that position that you've been um, asking for and meditating on. And they don't know how to deal with that. It's kind of feeling like you've been working your internal magic and attracting the things that you want to attract, right? No, yep, look at this. You have. You've been doing your fucking work. Some of you have been doing your work. Some of you has been doing your releasing because look at your energy right here. You got the Eight of Swords in reverse followed by your Ten of Cups. So the Eight of Swords in reverse is saying that you're open to new perspectives and you're releasing shit, right? And your new perspective right now is your fucking Ten of Cups. That's where you're fitting to go with this career. You want your Ten of Cups. You want harmony. You want alignment. You want shit to come together, okay? Now... They're over here feeling like shit is not in completion and they're being emotionally manipulative. So you may want to watch who you're sharing your shit with, okay? You just want to watch who you're sharing your shit with. That's going to be important for you. Yeah, they're coming in like they got order and they got structure here. And there's willpower and they're moving forward and they're determined and shit. 
All right. But that energy is manipulative. Yep. The nine. What did I say? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles upright is should when you should start seeing your fruit. Your, your seeds start to be a fruit. Right? You would have had to put in some work to start to be in a place of gratitude for you to see things unfolding. But right here, they can't get in a place of gratitude because, yeah, this shit is out of manipulation. There is no gratitude here. Um, no Nine of Pentacles energies for gratitude and no Seven of Pentacles energies for a vision because there's been a lack of long-term plan. They have not planned shit out. Now, they've probably over-invested in shit financially that they should not have done um, or they have some type of financial setbacks and they're seeing that your shit is starting to pop and they don't know how to deal with that, okay? Okay. So now, let's go over here. Let's go over here. You also have a personal issue comes to a resolution, right? And in this personal issue, it kind of feels like, let me just tell y'all, right? You over here with this five of pent um, pentacles in reverse, where you're recovering financially, right? You're recovering financially, okay? Now, somebody has definitely fell from grace with you, okay? Um, but this card could also represent your ego, which you have to be mindful of okay you can't operate in ego because and i say that because that's going to be short-lived okay so try not to operate in your ego you need to be mindful okay humility is a key but yeah your financial situation is starting to change starting to change the energy that you're interacting with their financial they still have financial setbacks and they could be some low-key jealousy here okay yep so they're asking you to pay attention because you do have the devil card upright. And that's why I say pay attention to your ego here, okay? What are you born to? Are you born to the materialistic things? Are you born to um, something um, sexually? Um, whatever this is. Are you sleeping with somebody at your job, um, Pisces? Or is somebody at your job interested in you? Do not allow your ego to keep you bond. You need to make some decisions and make clear decisions because you do have the two of swords here. And it kind of feels like stalemate energy. So personally, you have some personal shit going on that you need to work on, all right? Um, so I don't know if this is a um, codependency type shit uh, type um, situation where you're interacting with this person and they see your shit moving forward and their shit is not. Right? Their shit is not. The bottom of the deck for you, you do have the five of swords in reverse, right? And this is you being open to change. But if you're stuck in this situation where you're not open to the change, this could be resentment energy. Okay? Yeah. It's saying that you need to you need to deal with this personal shit because the Empress is in reverse. And with the Empress in reverse, ain't shit ain't shit growing, ain't shit manifesting. That's a standstill. Um, and this energy is saying it's a standstill. Of course, your personal shit is a standstill. Because look at this. It's a standstill and it's a standstill with this nine of cups energy. Somebody's dissatisfied, and this could be materialistic. You could be dealing with a fucking Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn and they're looking at, um, what's that? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus because we got Venus on the board and who else? Um, I think Libra is a Taurus or Venus is too, right? So you could be dealing with the Taurus. You could be dealing with the Libra. You could be dealing with the Leo because we got Leo on the board too. Um, definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn. But if you're doing dealing with a Taurus and with a Libra, I'm sorry, a, a Taurus or a Capricorn, this is definitely materialistic. So the the, ba the battle going on here, it could be very materialistic, and you're you like you're moving forward, and their shit is not popping yet. Okay. But whatever personal situation you have with this person or whatever your bond is to this person, it's not growing. It's like y'all are the standstill, and shit is out of alignment. Okay. And you're definitely in hermit mode over here about this shit. Okay? You're in hermit mode about this. You're reevaluating the situation where you stand in this, going within and doing the internal work that you need to see how you can move forward. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. This has to do with the relationship. And this this job situation or your career situation could change the dynamics of the relationship, but you're probably going to be making more money. Um, 
than your partner. And that could be causing the conflict too. Or maybe this can cause, maybe, oh, okay, y'all. This situation could be causing some type of move. Maybe there's a move coming from the situation that's causing the conflict, okay? Um, there, there's some type of movement, maybe relocation or some type of movement going on. A move up or move down from some people, okay? So maybe a move up for you and, and, and the, a move down from them, okay? Because there's definitely financial conflict here. There's financial conflict going on with, within your personal life. Your career shit is about to pop off. But there's something going on in your personal life that's not yielding you um, beneficial financial beneficial or financial st stability, right? You do know that there's some decisions that will need to be made in your personal life, especially when it comes to your career, because it's kind of like the energy feels like it's holding you back, okay? All right. Let's see here. Then you have um, take time to breathe out, okay? And as you take time to breathe out, that's really you sitting back and really paying attention to what you need to move forward, right? Because you're breathing, you're contemplating, right? Uh, you've got the eight of um, pentacles in the upright for your energy. And the eight of pentacles upright for your energy is just basically talking about you being able to do the work what's needed, gain the extra clarification. It's kind of like you're fine-tuning now. So if there needs to be any research or any studying or um, whatever um, education that needs, some of you may be going back to school to get the skill set that you need for this new venture. Some of you um, may be getting the training that you need for your job to put you into another level. So the job could be paying for this training, right? The job could be paying for this training. Um, and... You need to get on. The reason why you need to breathe is because some of you may feel like, okay, you're paying for the training. I need to move forward. But what's the vision here? What's the plan? What's what's next after the training? So if I do this and I, you know, if I take this class, if it's not the job, if I take this class, if I go off of this license, um, what's next? If I do the training, what's next? Like what what's next? This is what's next, y'all. What's next is the four of fucking wands, which is all about harmony, okay? This is all about your harmony. This is uh, your community coming together. That's things coming into balance, okay? Um, this is the time for you to celebrate. Then you have the six of pentacles, which talks about um, generosity, sharing, um, starting to see things prosper, right? And then you full flesh have your ten of pentacles. This is wealth. This is inheritance. This is all the shit that you've been working towards coming into flourishing, right? So they don't want you to shrink away from whatever may be the class, the course, the lessons. Um, even if you're doing lessons on YouTube University, they don't want you to not do what's needed to gain the skill set that you need for this, okay? Because your, in your income is going to be increasing, your finances is going to be increasing, but this may also affect your personal life because it's here. This may also be affecting you personally. Your change and you moving forward, my wonderful Pisces, could be triggering something else to somebody that they're not able to fully deal with your progress, okay? Um, if it's something, a situation in the job, this could definitely be somebody in the job um, where there's some type of conflict because your shit is popping and their shit is not. And there's one particular person in sales um, that you share a lot of stuff with this person. You do sales and your sales is probably picking up and theirs is not. You may want to stop sharing so much, um, even about your tax, get tax ticks and how you even um come up with um and how you even come up with ideas and how you move you may want to stop sharing so much okay um yeah sharing your system so much there's a time and a place for everything i'm all about sharing i'm all about giving however when you're going through a place where you're creating things from what appears to be nothing there has to be a digestation period where you you know where you it's just darkness like you bury that seed and you're you're in darkness molding it okay uh and at that point you can think of it as like the, the first trimester of women being pregnant a lot of women in your first trimester you don't let anyone know because you want to get past that stage of maybe have you know um having a miscarriage so you're very quiet about it until your second trimester when you went through that that stage where um miscarriage is likely okay now um 
you guys, you need to understand my wonderful Pisces that we control everything. And the more energy that you give to someone else outside of your, your, your life, um, outside of yourself, the more energy you give to someone's opinion outside of yourself, you start to agree with that and you come into agreements with that, then you have to experience what you agreed with, okay? So this is why I'm saying you may not want to share because this person, this person doesn't feel like this shit is popping, and um, there is a little bit of jealousy, okay? Clarify for me what you want my wonderful Pisces to know about their career. What do they need to work on for their personal healing for their career? What do they need to work on for personal healing when it comes to their career? What do they need to work on? Personal healing for their career. They want you to know that you have help from above, so you need to call in your angels, your ancestors, and your guides. Okay, now, like I said, um, the energy right now, the veil is gone. The veil is thin. Any of you that are doing any type of rituals, any type of spellings, you know, um, a.k.a. scribing, you may want to definitely tap into the high energy. Get, get quiet, <clears throat> okay? They also want you to pay attention to your inner child because your inner child um, can bring you so much wisdom and understanding if you tap in. You can know exactly what you're fearful of. You can know exactly um, what you need to embrace. Okay, there's so much information within. There are no questions without answers. So the answers first have to exist before the questions pop up. Okay, that's just cause and effect. Okay, that's just cause and effect. So you would need to, I know it's a paradox, but it's, you know, truth okay so you're paying attention to your inner child um you're also paying attention to pro uh, procrastination and this is why i said you want to stop sharing your shit with people because an another person's advice can put you in a place of uh, procrastination where you're now not doing what you're, what you're supposed to be doing because you're doubting yourself okay so you need to stop doubting yourself and stop sharing your shit because you're about to pop off in some beautiful shit um pisces this energy over here, yeah. But the energy over here that you're dealing with, you need to stop sharing your shit. That's going to be key. Okay, Pisces? Stop sharing your business is what you guys need to do. Okay? Stop sharing your business. Okay? You're close. Everything you want to manifest is close to manifesting. You're going to have to take the time out to... um. To really breathe out and relax in that. You don't got to fight with nobody no more. Shit is already done. You got good shit popping off. You're no longer going to be out in the financial um, cold. You just need to make a decision. That's all. Just make a decision. Okay? And it's a personal decision. Okay? So your personal issues are linked to your fucking money. Okay? Your personal issues, Pisces, are linked to your money. Okay, my wonderful Pisces? So... Yeah, deal with your personal issues and watch your money start to flow, okay? All right, my lovelies, I will see you guys next week in your love readings, but I will see you tomorrow in the daily, so make sure you check out the daily. I do daily wisdoms every day where you can know the vibration of the day, um, and I'm definitely studying um, sacred geometric shapes and symbols, so I will try to start incorporating some more of that in the dailies, okay? Um, I just want to finish studying what I'm studying before I start doing that. So I will see you in your dailies. Check out your love readings. Okay. Uh, they went up last week. We will have a new batch of love readings going up next week. Also, I will be live on Friday at 8 30 PM Eastern standard time. So you guys can come on by if you have questions and ask your questions there. Okay. All right. My wonderful Pisces, you guys know the deal. Anything that you need to know about me, you can find in the description box about my, um, coaching sessions and readings. Um, also my girl Kim Warner does natal chart, uh, and natal chart reports for your love life and your career and stuff. So you can check out her information in the description box. And, um, my other girl from Michelle, she does these beautiful sun catchers that are, um, that you can charge with energy and put them in your window to capture a lot of the, um, the, uh, the colorful energetic spectrum that we all deal with on a daily basis. Okay, my love. I will see you guys in your next individuals. Be kind to yourself. Check out the dailies tomorrow. Love yourself. Check out your love readings from last week. And I will see you guys later. Bye, my loves.